The story of Zed the Zebra. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, Lucy, two. Lucy, one, what two. are you doing? Can't you see? I'm doing exercises. One, two, one, two. Oh. I have to get ready for the race tomorrow. What race? The potato sack race at school, of course. Faster, Lucy. Faster. Hey, 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 hey. Wait a moment. Put me down. I have to practice for the race. Oh, Lucy, aren't you taking this all a bit too seriously? But I want to win. We all want to win, but you can't always win. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. But the most important thing is to have fun. You're the snip snip bird, aren't you? That's right, and I know all about races. Let me tell you a story about Zed the Zebra. Zed the Zebra was fast, very fast. He was the fastest runner in all of Africa. Just look at those go faster stripes. I'm so cool. Hey, Nelson, you're a slow runner, aren't you? Slow? Me? I wouldn't say I was slow. In fact, I can run quite fast. For an elephant. <laughs> But you can't run as fast as me. Says who? Says me. I'll race you to the top of that hill. OK. <laughs> Zed liked to race all the animals. And he beat them all. <laughs> no one is faster than me. <laughs> Until one day. Hi, everyone. What are you doing? Hello, Zed. Fancy a race? Another race? But I've already beaten you all. This isn't just any old race. This is a special race. An obstacle course. Hey, man. Special race or not, I'll still win. I'm the one with the go faster stripes, remember? We'll see. <laughs> and so everyone got ready for the race. Attention, everyone! Attention! Where's Zed? Here he comes. Uh, Keep it up, oh. Natalie. <laughs> Maybe you two should go on a diet or something. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> Herbert. <laughs> It's not always the fastest runner who wins the race, you know. Attention, please. I will be giving the start signal in just a second. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Attention. Go. And 
it's said the zebra who has taken the lead. Georgina is second, with Ronald in third place. But of course, this is an obstacle course, so anything can happen. We've come to the first obstacle, the jungle. And, oh, Zed has slowed down. He's not quite sure what to do. Here come the others. The elephant's in front and, oh, look at that. Nelson must be the best bulldozer in all of Africa. Here's Zed again. Nice try, Nelson, but I'm still the fastest. The second obstacle is the river. Zed has taken the plunge. He's struggling, and here come the others. <laughs> but it's Natalie who's jumped into the lead. She's definitely the best jumper in all of Africa. I'll show her who's the fastest. Bye. I'll see you at the finish. And once again, it's Zed the Zebra in front. He's racing away and oh! Where's he gone? Where am I? It looks like Zed's lost in the great grasses. And here come the others. Where am I? It's this way. No, that way. I've got hay fever. Oh, no. Achoo. Oh, dear. They're all lost now. All except Georgina. That way! And yes, Georgina has taken the lead. Georgina is the best pathfinder in all of Africa. This way. No, that way. Achoo! Achoo! But now the zebra's back in the race. It's said neck and neck with Georgina. And just look at the giraffe's neck. It's so long. Bye. I'll see you at the finish. But Zed's still winning. He's almost reached the big boulders now. Oh. He's slowed down once more. The zebra is having problems. But here comes Ronald. Ronald is the best boulder basher in all of Africa. But Zed is not giving up. <laughs> He's fast approaching the last obstacle. It's the Blue Mountain. Blue, green or red, no mountain is going to stop me. Nelson, Natalie and Georgina. But what are they waiting for? It's Ronald! But even Ronald's not strong enough to beat the Blue Mountain. We've got a problem here. Hey, there's Herbert. I'd forgotten about him. You know, what's he doing? Herbert the Warthog. The best digger in all of Africa. What a race! Move it, Wobble Bottom. <laughs> Herbert is still in the lead, but Zed is hot on his tail. The gap between them is getting smaller and smaller. Beat that, short legs. Zed has overtaken Herbert. Just look at that. Way out in front, it's Zed the Zebra. No one can possibly catch up now. Zed the Zebra, the fastest runner in all of Africa. He's almost reached the finish now. But oh no, what's happened? The Zebra has stopped at the waterhole. Mm. Look at those stripes. No one's faster than me. <laughs> it's a photo finish. Smile, please. The winners are Georgina, Nelson, Natalie, Herbert and Ronald. And in second place, Zed the Zebra. 
the waterhole wasn't one of the obstacles, you know, Zed. Well, I suppose I'm not always the fastest runner. But you are the biggest boaster. I'm sorry. Well, I think Zed's learned his lesson. Three cheers for Zed! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! After all, I did come second, and that's not bad. <sighs> I feel tired now. I think you need a good night's sleep, so you're fit and ready for the race tomorrow. That's right. Bedtime, young lady. OK. Good night, everyone. Good night, Lucy. And good luck tomorrow. Of Pauline the Pelican. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Lucy. Do you like my new bracelet? Oh, that's very pretty. Whose name is that? It says E-M-M-A. Emma. <coughs> Was it a present from Emma? Uh, no. Not really. I borrowed it from her. You mean you asked Emma if you could wear her bracelet for a while? Um, not exactly. This reminds me of the story of Pauline the Pelican. Would you like to hear it? Well... Oh, yes. I think you should. All right. I do love your stories, Molly. Every day, just as the sun was climbing in the sky, Pauline the Pelican would go fishing for her breakfast on Water Lily Lake. One day, the fish were particularly particularly clever and slippery. No matter how hard she tried, Pauline couldn't catch a thing. Look out below! Yummy, scrummy fishing view! Seamus the stork wasn't having any trouble finding fish. He caught lots of fish that day already. One for me, and one for me, and hey, another one for me. And one for Seamus, of course. Seamus had caught so many fish, he couldn't carry them all back to his nest. Oh, well. <laughs> I suppose I can leave this one behind and come back for it later. Ready for takeoff? Let's go! Seamus had left behind a very big and tasty fish, and Pauline was feeling hungry. Oh, that's my tummy rumbling. Seamus doesn't need this fish. I'll take it and catch another one for him later. I'm sure he won't mind. Anyway, I'll never know. What a cheek! Herbert the Warthog was feeling happy. He just had a dust bath and found a huge watermelon. My watermelon! Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, what a nasty shock that was. Naughty watermelon, hiding from Herbert like that. Safe at last. Time for a little trot before lunchtime, Herbert. Why not? And then we can gobble it down. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. Pauline thought the watermelon looked delicious. Watermelon. 
Where's it gone? As Pauline flew over the savannah, she spotted Reginald the lion dozing in the long grass. <sighs> Snooze. <clears throat> My lovely, tasty bone. Mm. Reginald is fast asleep. I'm sure he won't mind if I eat that bone now and bring him another one later. Mm -hmm. Lovely bone. Just for Reggie. beak was so full of food she couldn't fly. She had to walk the rest of the way back home. Hello? Anyone at home? Good evening, Pauline. We're not disturbing your tea or anything. Actually, we've come to warn you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it seems someone woofed my watermelon. I'd buried it in the safest place in the whole savannah. Now there's not a sign of it anywhere. It's just not fair. Mm -hmm. Someone has been taking food without asking. I lost a bone. And A lost a fish. And I lost the juiciest watermelon in the whole world. So be on your guard, Pauline Pelican, and don't leave any food lying around. Or you may be next. Even hiding it in holes doesn't help. Well, we'll leave you to get on with whatever you were doing. Just thought we'd better warn you. Bye. <laughs> Pauline felt very guilty and wished she'd never taken the food. Even though she was so hungry that her tummy was rumbling, she decided to give the food back to her friends. will be difficult. If Reginald catches me with his ball, I'm in big trouble. Oh, well, here goes. It was very dark when Pauline finally got home. She hadn't eaten anything all day, but she was happy that all the food was back where it belonged, and she fell into a deep sleep. Wakey, wakey, Pauline! Eh? What's happening? Is it someone's birthday? No. And it's not Christmas? No, it's not. So? We decided we'd got so much food that we'd share it. We're going to have a party. The cake is a present for you because you're our favourite pelican. Oh, I don't know what to say. How about, let's eat? Yeah, let's go down to the lake and eat our cake. Fishes and cream! Oh! Yay! Pauline was very happy. And Seamus and Reggie and Herbert were happy too. And they all had lots to eat. I think I'll give Emma her bracelet back tomorrow. Good idea. And I'm going to make her a cake, like they did for Pauline. With fishes and cream? Yuck! I don't think so. I want her to stay my friend. 
It's much too late for baking cakes now. Time for bed, I think. Thanks for the story. Good night. Good night, Lucy.